Good evening, chaps. So tonight's job is front brakes and uprights. They all come as a unit, but I need to sort of take them apart and rebuild them. The right bolts and stuff. Um, but calipers look familiar. Got way too many of those over the years, and then these are the dorky little mud guard things which fit to the whole assembly so looks like quite a big job actually with the various bits you need to do some holes that need drilling to run some wiring so I'll crack on with that tonight and I will report back shortly oh one like little thing but these damper bolts are the very first things on the car that are actually at final spec, torque spec. So I finally used my paint pen. Just a quick update on these assemblies. So they come pre-built up like this from AP because, I mean, they're all stickered up from the AP factory. I don't even think Caterham opened the box, to be honest. Uh, but you do have to take it apart a little bit. So you have to kind of take the back of the upright apart and swapper fixing and put these on again like I'm not saying this is complicated it's not but you get no text with the instructions it's, it's pictures um so certain things like throwing away fixings or finding fixings in illogical places it's kind of challenging um i don't know whether they do it on purpose just to try and make it feel a little bit less I'll suck that up straight away. But I'm gonna get some extra there. So I need to fix this. Um, so it's not it's not like easy easy, but it's pretty fun. Good evening for our. I mean, you should be in bed by now, but for our younger audience, this is um, what the suspension kind of setup looks like on well most sports cars really. So. This is connected to the steering rack here. Um, the steering rack is at the other side of here. It goes all the way along the car and then out of the other side. And then when it's got a steering wheel in it, that'll be connected to a long rod attached to this. So that'll spin like that, which moves the rack back and forwards, which turns the wheels left and right. Um, so all that's bolted on now. Um, obviously this is the shock absorber mix allows the whole assembly to go up and down and there's just a few a few big bolts in there under here to like this one to help the whole the whole unit pivot around itself um so like that. um so yeah i need to do all this on the other side now enjoy so a little trick there's probably nothing nothing new to the world of actual competent mechanics this is something you battle with doing the um, the Lotus suspension refurbs or any well any ball joint type thing really. So normally, when you're bolting down a a ball joint, there's a there's a tapered seat up in that boot. So when you're trying to wind the bolt on, which is the nut on, which is not which should be like a nylock nut usually, um, it looks it's a rotating part. Why isn't this not focusing? Come on, there we go. Um, so obviously a nylock nut has got quite a lot of resistance on it. So you'll just end up turning the ball joint because you've not seated the taper yet. So it's not, you know, it's not got anything to grip on. And the nylock is twisting, twisting the, the shaft instead of tightening itself. Um, so what I've done in the past on the Lotus, you do stuff like, I don't know, put, a, you know, bolt it all up and then put a, uh, trolley jack under and jack it up so you so you're forcing it onto the taper so the, the basically the weight of the car is sitting on the trolley jack or i've even done stuff with ratchet straps before like to compress to compress it down what the caterham kit comes with is a nut it's so simple it's a non nylock nut just a plain nut so you there's no resistance on that because it's just a it's a, it's a normal nut so you tighten that up, seat the taper first, like I've done on that top one. So that taper's nicely seated there. 
So then all I do now is just slacking it off a couple of turns, which is really hard when I'm holding a camera. I don't know how these vlogger people do it. Um, just loose it off a couple of turns and then whiz it off by hand. And it's all seated nicely. So now I can put a nylock on because it's gripped on the tapers. So yeah, nice little tip there, probably really blooming obvious, but I've learned something. <laughs>